apparently only about 15% of the world are, are actually self-aware. A lot of people aren't willing to be honest with themselves of not where they want to be. There's this avoidance is a lot easier than action because we don't want to face our demons because it's painful. And I say, well, you can either face them now for the next six months or you can face them for the rest of your life. It's that old cliche quote of the pain of change is much less painful than the pain of saying the same. A lot of people in life face those moments of times that make you resilient, times that force you to become either break or, or become resilient to it and build resilience. Can you develop resilience to a level of what life could throw at you through, through choice? Through choice, yes, but a high majority of people don't because life can be very comfortable. And it was something that, that I've said quite a lot. If I don't do an ice bath every day for the next 60 days, what happens? Nothing. If I don't go to the gym for 60 days, what happens? Nothing. See, the consequences for not doing this are not visual until they are. Because not doing these things, not building up your stress tolerance, slowly and surely things get to you so much easier. When I see someone who is taking the bits out of getting up early, looking after your physical health, eating healthily, they see it as a joke and go, well, you know, I don't do any of that and I'm in, you know, and I feel fine. So well, why have you just spent the last hour arguing with a stranger on the internet? You know, what you don't see that this does is it just enables you to think very differently enables you to be a, a lot more self-aware and I don't know the statistic but I was um, reading quite a bit and apparently only about 15% of the world are, are actually self-aware and a, a level of self-awareness where they can take themselves out and go I'm being a d or I'm not I'm not doing enough or I need to step things up a level or you've had enough now stop f***ing around and it takes a lot to do that because a lot of people aren't willing to be honest with themselves of not where they want to be you know there's this avoidance is a lot easier than action because we don't want to face our demons because it's painful and i say well you can either face them now for the next six months or you can face them for the rest of your life it's that old cliche quote of the pain of change is much less painful than the pain of saying the same and one thing that I found is when I build up daily stress tolerance, when I face these things that most people don't want to do, two things happen. Thank you to all you guys who have been supporting us so far at mulliganbrothers.com, where you can now get the Memento Mori poster, a poster to remind you that you will one day die. It's 80 years worth of tiny little boxes and you shade them in and one day you won't fill a box in. And if that does not motivate you, I don't know what will. Use code STOIC at checkout for 10% off and you can also get the Inspire Change hoodies and the motivational clothing with the link down below. Firstly, discipline is a muscle which needs to be strengthened and built daily. And if you build that daily and maintain it, anything that life throws at you, you can deal with. That person on the internet who sends you a shitty message, you just brush it off. And one of the things that I say to a lot of people is that you need to have your shit squared in many different areas physically, mentally, financially, and emotionally. And the way that I kind of have this as an, um, as an analogy is that there's a lot of people that are drowning in something. Debt, relationship problems, uh, life. And one thing they say is if somebody is drowning, to go, don't go in and rescue them because what will happen is they don't know what they're doing so they'll pull you down and you'll drown too. The only time you should go in and rescue someone is if, they're, if you're an expert swimmer. How do you become an expert swimmer? Stress tolerance, eating healthy, exercising, earning good money, saving, not having all of the things that trigger people because they're not willing to face the reality that they're not working on those things. So, if you don't do these things, nothing will happen. Your just life will eventually be more and more difficult to deal with. The self-awareness statistic doesn't shock me at all. I remember for me, self-awareness came when life slapped me in the face. Like it was like the most traumatic thing that happened to me happened to me and life slapped me in the face. And like, I was like, 
I woke up like completely and I had this self-awareness. So many people almost believe they're self-aware as well. I think we all, we all do. If I go back five years, I said this um, before that, if you looked at your life as a chapter of a book, I thought in a 12 chapter book that I was on chapter 10. So I was like, I'm only a couple of chapters away from completing life. And that was the level of arrogance I was at. It's this kind of Dunning-Kruger effect of, you know, when you're new, as in you're in your thir early 30s, you think you've got most of your life figured out. So I'm reading 10, you know, I'm 10 chapters into a book, about to close the last two and then everything melts out. And then I wake up and realize I'm not on chapter 10, I'm on in chapter two. I ain't got a clue what I'm talking about. And it humbles you, it humbles you a lot because that enabled me to realize a lot of things which I wasn't listening. And it's this kind of thing where lessons will always repeat themselves until they're learned. And if they're not, if you're not learning from these lessons, you're gonna get a very big one. And some people don't recover from those lessons because they don't learn from them. So they repeat the same patterns and it woke me the fuck up. Completely changed everything that I was doing. And very much like these things, I'm, I'm glad that they all happen. You know, a lot of people are afraid to, for these, you know, we, we talk about perhaps failures and mistakes. A lot of people are so afraid to make them that they don't push themselves into understanding them. Um, and it's, and it's difficult because you can sit here on podcasts and interviews and tell people what they need to do. But unfortunately, most people, there's a big difference between listening to somebody else and experiencing it yourself. Um, and life is full of those obstacles and curveballs but they're it, it's all down to how you look at them when i think about obstacles when i think about things that you need to build up you've just got to go into it with a level of naivety but when these things do come you've just got to have a mindset about it to go okay cool how bad do you want this and i always think that when this is difficult i remind myself if this is difficult then it's worth doing because you know most people at this stage would have given up so if you don't, you're going to get rewarded eventually by this. And you don't know when, there's not a timeline for this, but you will. You know, 10, 15 years time, you look back and there will be probably a split second moment where you're just like, it was all worth it. It made me who I was. Thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you to everybody who's been supporting us as well. Uh, a lot of you have come through on Instagram and said hello. Uh, thank you so much. Please head over to mullingbridge.com as well to support us there where you can now buy the Memento Mori poster, a poster to remind you that you will one day die, um, which if it doesn't get you motivated, I don't know what will. So check that out below. You get 10% off using code STOIC. And yeah, you can get the Inspire Change t-shirts and the motivational clothing with the link in the description. Thank you so much for all your support and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.